Most tourist guidebooks to the eternal city of Rome usually mention great figures like Dante, Michelangelo, or even Dan Brown as a way to facilitate or to make more exciting the discovery of the city of Rome for the visitor. So people come here following the footprints of those famous figures. And in fact, some years ago, when I was in Piazza del Popolo, carrying on teaching a class to a group of students from the University of Miami on how to draw perspective, how to draw the church of Piazza del Popolo using side measurement tricks and perspective vanishing points and things of that nature, and also pencils on paper. And I left my students drawing while I took a little walk in Piazza del Popolo, and to my surprise, I found a tourist sign post that said, Cervantes entered Rome. So I stopped for a minute and I read the content of the sign, and I was surprised to see that the author of Don Quixote, one of my favorite authors, had actually come to Rome as a young man, and he had entered the city by way of Piazza del Popolo. At the arrival in Via de Banchi Vecchi, there is a sort of unveiling or a disclosure of the um, identities of the two heroes. And where one is expecting the grand finale, the happy ending, what happens is that Sigismunda falls strangely ill. She becomes very ugly and she almost dies. And so um, this is a very interesting twist in the second part of the novel. At the third and final part of the itinerary in Rome of the book, we are in the Basilica of St. Paul's Outside the Walls, which is one of the most beautiful and um, portentous uh, basilicas of the city. But it's a great surprise that the final uh, chapters of the book do not take place at St. Peter's, given that this is a pilgrimage to Rome. So why does the uh, book end in the Basilica of St. Paul's outside the walls and not at St. Peter's. <laughs> 